Hello, and welcome to This is Route 66. Our special guest today is Nikki Turleski, who is the Director of Operations, Historic Route 66 Association of Arizona. Welcome, Nikki, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. Let's start with the Historic Route 66 Association of Arizona. Tell us about the organization and how it began. The association was founded in 1987. Um, it was started by a group of individuals from Topak to Seligman, who all really wanted to bring back business to their communities. Um, there is a famous meeting at the Copper Cart restaurant in Seligman, where they met and discussed their ideas. And one of the people present was Angel Delgadillo of Seligman, who is still the president of the association. The first accomplishment of the association was getting Route 66 from Seligman to Kingman designated as a historic highway. Now, I understand Angel Delgadillo was recently honored in Washington, D.C. Can you tell us about the trip and the award ceremony? Yes. Um, Angel received um, a leadership award from the National Trust for Historic Preservation, Um, They were having their annual conference in D.C., and Angel wasn't sure he wanted to make the trip to receive the award, but thought it was such an honor. Um, And then the idea came about to get Angel on a private plane so he could attend the ceremony in D.C. So our acting president of the association um, flew Angel myself and his children all to DC so Angel could receive his award. Uh, That this 96 year old barber from Seligman, Arizona has done over the past 40 years to draw attention to this iconic highway that John Steinbeck dubbed the Mother Road. We are delighted to honor the man christened the guardian angel of Route 66, Angel Delgadillo. Please join me in welcoming Angel Delgadillo to the stage. After the award ceremony, um, we were going to fly right back to Arizona, Um, except we got on the plane and there was a fuel leak. And so we had to deplane and we actually ended up staying in DC for an extra couple of days, which was actually really fun. We all got to sightsee. Um, We got to go to the Lincoln Memorial. And we also went to the Smithsonian where Angel has a part in an exhibit Um, in the Smithsonian's Museum of American History. Wow, how cool is that? Now, how old is Angel? Angel is 96. That's great. I think that's fabulous that he's still participating in these activities at that age. Yes. I have a video queued up. I believe this video was presented during the ceremony. Can we go ahead and play that? Yes. I grew up in Seligman, Arizona on Old Route 66 with three older brothers, three older sisters, and two younger brothers. And this all took place during the Depression where we had to all learn to work together and do with what we had. One of the big changes in Seligman was when our government made Route 66 from a narrow two lane to a four lane highway. So many businesses went broke. Through barbering, I learned so much from listening to my customers. They all told me the same thing. 
they all sounded like a recording. When I was a little boy, when I was a little girl, this has got to be the highway that my parents traveled from the Midwest states to California. I finally asked myself, what are these people looking for? They were looking for yesterday. On Route 66, you get to deal with family businesses. You get to deal with second generations, third generations. Route 66 and the family businesses are so much America of yesterday. And this is what these people lost and they came back just in Sullivan looking for yesterday. For several years, I thought, how can we get the economy back? My simple, simple thought was, all we have to do is ask our state government to make Route 66 historic from Seligman to Kingman. So I began to talk to my customers, to anybody that would listen. People said, Angel, that's almost impossible. I'm with you, but I don't think it'll work. I finally told my wife, Vilma, sweetheart, let's go to Kingman, Arizona and see what the people at the Grand Canyon Caverns think about it. We'll stop at Peach Springs, we'll start at Truxton and Kingman and, and see what they say. But you know what, lo and behold, every one group that I talked to endorsed my idea. I finally convinced the Board of Southern Chamber of Commerce that my idea would work. Bingo, we formed the Historic Route 66 Association of Arizona. And immediately we had the backing of the people. We just stayed on them and stayed on them. Telephone calls, letters, and heaven knows email. Our government in Arizona finally made Route 66 a story from Seligman to Kingman, November of 1987. We asked them, how about the 17 miles east of Seligman, Route 66? Well, how about the 50 some miles west of Kingman? And now we have the longest remaining uninterrupted stretch of Route 66 in the United States, 159 miles. I only live a block from Route 66 and I get to witness all the, the travelers. So when you ask me who's going to carry on, it's happening already. My legacy is about if you want something bad enough, don't go begging for it. Don't go wishing for it. Go do what you want. Go make it happen. Well, I think that's terrific. Yeah, that's great. I've said to other people, if you enjoy historic Route 66, you owe Angel and others a debt of gratitude. Definitely, yeah. Before we continue, let's take a short break and play Beat the Buzzer. Get ready. It's time to play Beat the Buzzer. Can you guess our jigsaw puzzle? To participate, click the subscribe button below. All right, it's time to play Beat the Buzzer. Welcome back. Let's move on to our next topic. Let's talk about the association a little bit more. So what are the benefits of being a member of the Route 66 Association of Arizona and how does a person sign up? So the association doesn't actually have membership. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Our structure does not uh, need membership. We have a few ways you can support the association. Um, we have a Route 66 license plate you can get from the Arizona Department of Transportation and drive around with Route 66 on your car, advertising it to everyone in Arizona. Um, we get 17 of those dollars from every single Route 66 license plate. 
You can also come to our Route 66 gift shop in the Kingman Visitor Center and buy some souvenirs. Um, or you could come to our Route 66 fun run, which happens every May, um, the weekend before Mother's Day. So I'm going to get to the fun run in just a minute because my wife and I are going along with three other couples. But let's go back to the license plate. I wasn't aware of that, and that sounds pretty neat. Now, I'm not a resident of Arizona, and in my state, I'm only required to have a license plate on the back of my car. So can out-of-state residents obtain these license plates? Unfortunately, you cannot. Your car has to be registered in Arizona. Um, we also only have back plates. But yes, only Arizona residents and um, anyone can sign up for one. Okay, great. I think that's a really cool idea. Now, on to the fun run. Uh, my wife and I and three other couples will be going uh, for the 2024 fun run. And we're really excited about that. Actually, we're going to be talking with my, our friends uh, Friday evening more about that. We're looking forward to that. Can you tell our viewers more details? What is the fun run? Yes. So this will be our 35th annual Route 66 fun run. It is from Seligman to Topak, and it is over a three-day weekend. So Friday, we start with registration in Seligman. There's a really cool car parade at sundown. Saturday morning, everyone lines up on Route 66 in Seligman, and Angel waves off all of the cars on their journey on Route 66 from Seligman towards Kingman. You can stop along the way at the different businesses and attractions. Everyone has some sort of activity going on. When you get to Kingman, there's a huge car show on Route 66 downtown. Uh, we do give away some awards, but it really is just for the fun of it and celebrating historic Route 66. Sunday morning, um, Lewis Kingman Park is where we give away those awards. And then everyone caravans from Kingman through Oatman to Topak, um, where they have a barbecue and a car show. It sounds like a lot of fun. Now I've traveled most or all of Route 66, but I've never been to Topak. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be a new experience for me. Yeah, it'll be fun. Well, first came rock, and then it started rolling. Well, this is it, I swear and guarantee. Well, shake your knees, I'll show you how. Let the rhythm set you free. It was rock and roll that changed the world for me. When I was boom, boom, baby. I said boom, boom, baby. I said boom, boom, baby. 
So we're coming up on the 100 year anniversary of Route 66. How is Arizona preparing for the centennial? So the association has two different grants programs. Um, the first program is for nonprofits, government entities, tribal entities, um, and educational institutions. Um, they can apply for up to $25,000. Um, to preserve, promote, or protect Route 66 in Arizona. There is also a cost share grant available to businesses and chambers of commerce. And we're using these grants to prepare Route 66 in Arizona for the centennial. Um, beautification, um, sign remodels, updating um, businesses, whether it be their restrooms, their signage, um, how they're reaching visitors. So we really want Arizona to be 100% prepared for the centennial year, looking our best for all the Route 66 visitors. Um, we have a couple other projects for the centennial. Um, we are hoping to construct with uh, the city of Winslow a monument um, of the Twin Arrows. Hmm. And another project we're excited about partnering with Seligman is some welcome arches like in Williams. So they will span the road and say, welcome to the birthplace of Historic Route 66. So they are raising funds for that. And we are also planning on producing a postcard booklet. Um, so they have vintage postcard books where you would tear out a postcard, um, write in it, and then send it off. And usually there'd be several postcards from one area. So using that same idea, we will have 26 things to do on Route 66 in Arizona for 2026. And you will have a postcard and on the back, you can write some notes, it will have some information. And then once you've completed that item, you can give yourself a postcard stamp on that postcard. I like that. That's a really cool idea. I've never heard anything like that before. That's really neat. And it kind of reminds me of your passport book. So can you tell us about your passport as well? Yes. So the passport is a great way to plan your Route 66 road trip in Arizona. You can request a passport from our website or pick it up at any visitor center in uh, Arizona on Route 66. And it will tell you where to stop, what there is to see, and then at certain locations, um, you can actually get a stamp in your passport um, proving you were there. At the end, um, once you've collected some stamps, you can mail in a survey at the back of the passport and you can get a certificate saying you got your kicks on Route 66. Oh, I like that. So you end up actually with sort of like two souvenirs. You get to keep the passport book, right? Correct, yep. And then you get a certificate as well. So that's a neat idea. Yeah. I like that. So um, tell us about your Facebook page. Yeah, so the association um, has a Facebook page. We share um, historical photos, um, any information about our events, like the fun run, um, fun things happening at the gift shop. So definitely check out our Facebook page and give us a follow for all things that we have going on. So your organization has a lot going on with everything you got planned. Is Facebook the best way for our viewers to follow you, or do you also have a website? Facebook is a great place to follow us. Instagram as well. Um, we are working on a brand new website, but we also publish a quarterly newsletter written by Roger Naylor, and that has some great updates in it. You can subscribe on the homepage of our website, and that is the only thing that we will email you is the newsletter. And that has some great updates about Route 66 in Arizona. Great. And what's the address for the website? Yes, it is historic66az.com. So Nikki, tell me about the Osterman gas station in Peach Springs. Seems like I've heard something about this recently. 
Yeah. So the Osterman service station um, was once one of six service stations in Peach Springs on Route 66. Um, it is a historic building. It was placed on the National Trust for Historic Preservation, their 11 most endangered list this year. Um, last winter, the roof collapsed on the service station. And usually when historic buildings uh, lose their roof, they're down for the count. So a group of individuals in Arizona and nationally kind of rallied around this gas station and it recently received um, an ADOT grant. It received um, two grants from the association. Um, so lots of money and like a spotlight on this service station. It has received um, new bricks, um, interestingly enough, this service station was purchased from a Sears catalog and then delivered. <laughs> yes. And so um, custom made bricks to match what was there um, were made. The east and west wall, as well as the front facade, all got um, repaired. And then last week they started on the roof. So this service station will be ready for the winter. Um, Peach Springs is busy working on a community plan to see what they'd like to put inside the service station, but we're really hopeful that this new life that the service station has received um, will be ready and open for guests to visit during the centennial. Perfect. I'm, I'll be there. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that and I wasn't aware of that. So thank you for that information. Yeah. And you can actually drive by and see it. Um, on your way to Kingman for the fun run. Great. Well, I'd like to thank Nikki again for taking time to join us today and participating on this episode. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thanks, Tim. And join us next time as we continue cruising down Route 66. I'd like to say thank you to our guests today. And also I wanna say thank you for watching my videos. Producing these videos is just my way of giving back to Route 66 and preserving this piece of Americana for the next generation. Now you can let me know that you appreciate these videos by just simply clicking on to this logo to subscribe to my channel. And of course, feel free to share these videos to your social media pages.